so when you've got the spreadsheet into the form that you want it to, um, we'll open it. This is opening from your email and we need to enable editing and we'll show you how to get the data into R. So we need to go to the data set, the other tabs are set up nicely, uh, but these are what we need to use in R. So uh, what I would first do is you'll notice that we've got about three unique missing value codes. Uh, so we'll go through each one of those. So I'll just select the whole data and then hit Control H to find and replace. So the first of those missing value codes was this one and we will replace with the default missing value code for R, just uppercase NA, no punctuation in there at all, and replace all. Okay, and it made 1,020 replacements. And then there was another one without the, oops. Okay, and we do the same. Another 420 replacements, and there was a minus 10 as well. Right, replace all, only 21 of those. Now, what we'll also notice, if I close that for a minute, is that we've got a bunch of zeros in the data set. We'll just blow that up a bit so you can see it a bit more easily. Um, and I would argue that you can't actually measure a zero concentration. First of all, you can't measure something that's not there, but you also can't measure concentrations below the detection limit of the method. And zero will always be below it. So what I'm gonna do again is Go to the beginning, so that's control home, control shift end, selects to the end of the showing data, and I'm gonna go control H. Now I can't just put zero in here and replace, because there are zeros all over the place within other numbers. So I'm gonna go to options and just say match entire cell contents, meaning the whole cell has to be zero. So entries like these ones here, uh, and then replace all. Okay, so we can see we've got NAs all over the place now. And if we scroll across, we've got NAs where we expect them. Now, you can import from Excel directly into RStudio, but I won't do that. What I'll do is I will save this sheet as a CSV file. So file, save as, I need to find a place to put it. Okay, so I'm actually going to go to my 3361 folder and practicals. I've got a learning R folder. I'm just going to put it uh, here uh, and we'll just call it have it test.csv and change the type to CSV, comma delimited. All right, and save. It'll give us some warnings. It doesn't support workbooks that contain multiple sheets. Well, we don't want that anyway. And some features might be lost. That's locking the top row and stuff like that. Yep, we do. Okay, so let's save that file. And now we can go to our studio. So here are the files in the folder that I saved it into, and I'll just uh, use the R console to read that in. So I'll just put Hubbard test and read.csv file name. Let's just and we need to get the case right here. CSV. Okay. And then we can do some of our diagnostic things on here. So I can look at the structure of Hubbard test. Have a look at that to see whether things have read in as I expected them to. It looks like they have. Uh, and the other thing I would probably do is Summary of a test actually help. 
helps to spell things correctly. Right, so there's our summary. And all is good. Everything that's numeric is written as numeric, and there are a couple of things that are factors. These two variables here contain categorical information. They seem to have written correctly too. So that's about all you need to do to verify that you've got the data that you want, and then you can just start to do some analysis on it.